happening here? We're headed over the bridge into New Bedford. Four days of dancing, traditional Portuguese cuisine, and special imported wine is about to kick off at the largest Portuguese feast in the entire country. Brennan is there live right now for a little preview of the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. Brennan, looks like a great weekend ahead. Oh, what a tough assignment I have here this morning in New Bedford, Michaela. I got to tell you, this is my fourth consecutive year being here previewing this amazing feast, and it just seems like it gets bigger and better every single year. You can see the preparations going on. We're going to show you guys what's happening in just a bit. But right now, to give us the scoop on everything that is happening, we have the president of this feast, Steve Duart. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. It is so nice to be back. I saw the welcoming faces. It's very rare I go anywhere, and people are happy to see me. But you <laughs> You guys certainly are, and we are happy to see you. 103 years, does it seem possible? 103 years, and, and, and Channel 12 has been incredible and, and great to have you back. But yeah, 103 years. <laughs> Seems like I was just here for the 50th. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the fact that it all kicks off later tonight, runs right through the weekend, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It kicks off today at, at, at 6 o'clock. We have the fire in the cannon. Uh, gov the governor will be here, the mayor will be here to kick off the celebration. And we're 6 to midnight, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, noon to midnight. And the key to this whole thing is, obviously, it's fun. Families can come out. People look forward to it annually. Free. It's free. <laughs> free admission. And, and thank God for our sponsors. And uh, free admission, free entertainment, four venues of entertainment, and great Portuguese food. You know, when we were rolling up here today, we were kind of scoping out the scene. As I said, seeing everybody kind of setting up, working together. It really is a family type atmosphere. Everybody comes together. There's so much goodwill. There's a lot of work to be done, but everyone is just so proud to be a part of this, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Well, our families come from all over the country just to just to be to, for the feast. We call it the the Christmas in August, but we have thousand th over a thousand volunteers. I pay for two cooks and one electrician. Everybody else is volunteers. And we are going to learn much more about the great food and wine a little later on in the roadshow this morning, you guys. You don't want to miss that. But for you, sir, being president of this, everyone gets to do it one time. This has been your year. You told me earlier it's been about 50 weeks of preparation, hasn't it? It has. The first first meeting actually is the Sunday of the feast, and it's 52 weeks to get prepared. And following in my great uncle's footsteps, Manuel Duat, who was the first president of the feast 103 years ago, it's been a great year. I've got a great bunch of guys in the executive committee. Well, that's an uh, extra layer of pride for you and for everyone here. The great tradition over a century here. Certainly, we can say it over and over again to those of us that come here to enjoy it. We can see it. But being a part of that, it's in your genes. It's in your blood adds an extra layer of specialness to it, doesn't it? It, it, it does. You know, it, it's our model. And from, from our four founding fathers, God help us to help others. Absolutely. How's that for a handsome mug right there? Is a little Madeira <laughs> wine in there early in the morning, Steve? No, coffee. was late <laughs> night last night. <laughs> well, maybe as the morning progresses, we can sample a little bit of that fine wine. Steve, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We're going to check in with this guy again in a little bit. As I said, we're going to hear more and more about that great food and drink. Also, some of the fantastic entertainment that they're going to have this weekend as well. It's the 103rd Feast of the Blessed Sacrament happening here in beautiful New Bedford. Guys, for now, back to you. Welcome back. Summer is still in full swing, and what better way to enjoy the season in southern New England than with some traditional Portuguese food and music. Just ahead of the weekend, Brendan is getting a live preview of the fun to come at the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. Brendan, it looks like you're in the kitchen right now. Are they putting you to work? Yes, Michaela, astute roadshow viewers out there know that I'm such an expert in the kitchen. Why wouldn't they want me helping out right here at the 103rd Feast of the Blessed Sacrament in New Bedford? It smells great in here. The exhaust fans are roaring because preparations continue for all that is going to be kicking off later tonight. And right now we have John Alves, Vice President of the Feast, joining us. Good morning, John. Good morning. We love being here. We love having you. Oh, my God. It's a highlight for me annually. Every summer we look forward to it. But the boys are back here hard at work talk about the great food you're gonna have here this is uh, heaven for Portuguese food lovers casola bifanas cut and spit meal free uh, bull de cock uh, fresh tuna codfish r rabbit goat just all kinds of exotic uh, treats. If I wasn't on TV right now, my mouth would be watering, but I'm trying to keep it as professional as possible. And I alluded to these guys back here. I don't want to disturb them. They're hard at work. But talk about all that they do, because not only does it smell great back here, I mean, it's just a feast for the eyes as well. well they've been working for days. All this meat has to be cut. It takes hours to cut 9,000 pounds of pork alone. 
I, 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 it's amazing how they do that. And no injuries. <laughs> yeah, that's a key. Safety first. And where does all the meat come from? Uh, we have really good suppliers. You know, and it's ordering it is really a uh, a real trick. When someone we call up and say you need 9,000 pounds of pork, yeah. they go, "Are you sure? <laughs> How many people are you expecting?" Yes, and the wine as well, the element. We look forward to the Madeira, but some great drink as well as food. Great drink. You know, we're very proud of our Madeira wine, and it's the only wine that comes into the United States in its own barrel with a special arrangement thanks to the government of Portugal and we have 32 barrels this year so if you're thirsty <laughs> this is the place to be and of course all kicking off later tonight right yes we open at six six o'clock the preparations are underway this guy and the dedicated crew are doing all that they can so that you can have the best time possible how excited are you we're very excited when's the year? last time you slept <laughs> um, I, I got a few hours last night all right, just a few but then I woke up thinking about what we hadn't done yet so but that's a sign of someone who's dedicated to bringing the fun to the people John thanks for having us you're very welcome come back next year uh, you know I will be for the hundred and fourth but first we got to get through the one hundred and third we're gonna have more in a little bit you guys we're gonna get the scoop on some of the great entertainment that's going to be taking place this weekend. We'll see some of the amusement rides. It's all happening down here in New Bedford. I'm going to see if I can get an early sample. For now, back to you. Going great out here. We are getting the scoop on the 103rd, of course, Feast of the Blessed Sacrament here in New Bedford. Now, of course, you show up, you come for the food and drink, you stay for the entertainment, right? Am I right, folks? That's absolutely true. And right here now, to break it down for us once again, is our buddy Steve Duart. Good morning once again, sir. Good morning once again. Sir, I hold in my hand a very powerful lineup. I have been perusing the list of entertainment that is to kick off starting tonight. It's a very impressive list. Let us know who's coming. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. incredible. Over, oh, close to 90 hours entertainment, and it's free. Awesome. Free admission. We'll go from Father Singer, Portuguese traditional singer, to the Shah's Museum Cafe, to the Spin Doctors this evening. I love that. The headliners tonight, Little Miss can't be wrong. The Spin Doctors will be here. So many great hits. A great opportunity to see a terrific band in action and then tomorrow it just goes on and on with uh, Rebecca Currier and friends and so much more. Oh so much more. Saturday we have family day so we have a great entertainment lineup for all the children and the seniors come here with, a, with the help of the city of New Bedford. They eat for half price but we'll have Frank Sinatra singers, we'll have barbershop quartets, we'll have acts for the kids. It's incredible, incredible four days. Frank Sinatra tribute you say. You know the summer wind. Maybe next year I could jump up there. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the only appropriate answer I think but Steve we stand here right now in the midway of sorts. you got a great carnival as well, don't you? Great carnival. Uh, expanded carnival. Carnival's back this year. Cushion Abusements. Incredible uh, family. Uh, long history. Uh, like the feast. And kiddie rides and adult rides. And uh, maybe we'll try some later. Yeah, kiddie land is right, right up my alley. I I'm not one for the big rides. I get very nervous, but the zipper right here, you really do have something for all ages. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's all about family. It's all about having fun and getting together. And run it down for us one more time. It all kicks off this evening and runs through when? It all kicks off this evening, starts at 6 o'clock, runs through Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday from noontime to midnight. It's outstanding stuff. You know, we've been meeting all, all the fine people down here. We talked with John earlier. The, the smells in the kitchen were just fantastic. The aromas just wafting in of all that great food. But the sense of camaraderie, the sense of spirit, the sense of fun is really what it's all about, isn't it? It's all about family, all about friends, all about reunions. It's like your old high school or college reunion. Everybody gets together at the feast. And you know what's an interesting side note here, a little bit of an aside, is that in that area where we were before, before we stepped into the kitchen, it was remarkable. You have flags up above of all the different villages in Madeira. That is remarkable that there are not only are so many that people are contributing to the overall feel here. It is. Uh, not only the flags from all the villages of New Bedford, uh, in Madeira we also have flags from people that visit us from all around the world. It really is a wonderful thing and as I'm perusing the list here, it looks like things close down on Sunday with a roadshow favorite. Grace Morrison will be here as well. There really is something for everybody here. I'm just enlightened by all of these. Moment of clarity, they've been on the roadshow. Please hold your applause until I've listed all of the acts performed at the 103rd Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. It's going to be a great time. Steve, best of luck this weekend, and congratulations on all the hard work and everything you've done here. Thank you so much, and thanks to Channel 12. Absolutely. It's our pleasure to be here. The Roadshow loves getting the scoop on what's happening. WPRI 12, proud sponsors of this great event. Here's to the next 103 years, right, Steve? Gotcha. Absolutely. We'll see you then in 20-something. For now, back to you.